Hi, I'm Brandon Coburn. Joining me today is Chris Lowe's, the coach of the Division II men's hockey team. Chris, why don't you start off by just telling us a little bit about how tryouts are going so far. The tryouts are going good. We had, uh, I think, 70-something new, new kids uh, uh, looking to make a Division II hockey team. And uh, D1 has just finished up their cut, so we're kind of in that final selection process. Probably two more skates, and we'll, we'll have a pretty good idea where we're at. How difficult do you think it is picking a team after obviously the success you guys had last year was better than many years in the past, going to nationals, coming so close to winning it all. How difficult is it to pick a team now after only losing a couple of guys? Yeah, I mean, it's a good problem to have. There's a lot of, a lot of talent um, between returning players, new players, uh, and Division three players that have impressed us in tryouts. So, um, it's definitely a good problem, but uh, I think we learned a lot last year about chemistry and what we're looking for to build that team, and it's not always the most skilled guy or, or, or this or that. So. Right. And now, obviously, you've got a couple more spots that you're looking for. You as coaches, what are you looking for for those guys that are battling for those last couple of positions? Yeah, you know, we're trying to piece together the best we can. I mean, a lot's going to happen uh, between guys earning spots and moving up and down the the lineup, um, but we're trying to anticipate a little bit of our lineup and, and where those holes are, and so that might be a guy that's uh, a role player on a fourth line or a right-handed shot that can, has the skill set to play with a certain couple guys, but uh, we're just kind of weighing all those things, and uh, you know, ultimately we'll have a couple extra guys, and there will be some ongoing battle through the start of the season. Obviously losing a guy like Brad Dockstetter is a huge blow, second in points in the ACHA. How do you think that's going to affect the team this year? Hopefully it's something we can uh, we can work with. You know, Brad's probably irreplaceable. Uh, you know, he's 70 something points last year, and it's not just his points, his uh, demeanor, his leadership, and his ability to just um, slow things down on the ice and uh, and and help our guys just execute properly. But uh, I think it'll be something. We're not looking at anyone individually to step up and take that role. It'll be a, a production by a committee, I think. Um, and I, I'm real happy with the talent. I, th I think we shouldn't have any problem uh, replacing the, that production. Sounds great. Well, thank you very much for taking some time to answer our questions, and good luck with the rest of your, your selections. Awesome. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks.